Do you ever just like have a moment where you're just sitting here and you're just like, what is wrong with me? Oh, people are gonna read this and be like, what the heck, Katie? <laughs> but it's good. I like it. The writing has been going well. We are a little past 15,500. I've been tracking my edits with this thing in my journal and I just color in a circle when I finish that chapter. I'm stalling because I'm so just like, I don't want to work on this book. I've been stuck in the same section of this book for so long. I'm gonna show you this one comment my beta reader made though, because it made me laugh so hard. Here's the cover. I felt like there was something missing from this first book. Last night, I had this epiphany. And my fifth one, we got news on that, my friend. But this rough draft is probably the messiest of the rough drafts that I've ever written. And I write pretty messy rough drafts. I was really doubting this project for a while, but it's twice as long than it was when we started and I feel like it's really starting to come together and I love it again. You just kind of have to trust the process and see the light at the end of the tunnel and know that it'll turn out better than it is right now. So now it's finally starting to come together. I'm struggling more than I think I've ever struggled with a book. I'm sitting here like scrolling through my old Pinterest board and it got me like excited to revise the book again because like scrolling through this picture has reminded me of like my original idea for the book. And now looking at it, like the book that I have now, it's not exactly what I want it to be. It's like not exactly what I had in mind to begin with, but we can get it there. I'm definitely realizing more so today than in previous days. I got a lot of work to do with this rough draft. I tried really hard to outline and prepare and world build as much as I could ahead of time, but there's just so much to juggle. Like I had such good momentum. I am loving this project. I know I'm definitely gonna be saying something different in a couple of days, but I'm having so much fun. These opening chapters, um, by far my favorite opening of any book I've ever written. I've outdone myself. I'm having so much fun. Happy NaNoWriMo day 21. It's currently 11.30 and I finished my book this morning. Hello from the small demon that woke me up at three in the morning by screaming in my ear. Happy release day. I don't even remember doing that, Mom. I'm so innocent. I'm so innocent. I didn't really want to get up at three in the morning today, but then I couldn't go back to sleep. So that's just when we started the day. Really? Really? <laughs> You're the worst. Hello, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Today's release day. My fifth book, The Marionettes, comes out today. I'm too tired to be excited. I haven't made my coffee yet. We'll be excited later. It's gonna be a pretty typical day for me today. I still have a lot of work to do. I've got two editing clients right now, and then I have a bunch of stuff for release day. I have to like, we'll get to it. We'll do that stuff later. Coffee first. This isn't gonna be as like <laughs> exciting as the release day for my last release was for the anti-relationship year. We like had a party basically here. I didn't even get new decorations to replace those ones. I am going out with my friends tonight. We're gonna get drinks, have a good night, so different vibe this release this go around i'm gonna get some coffee we should check on how the book's doing first thing in the morning i guess i know some people are in uh different time zones in different countries and stuff so i know it's been more than like a day for some people since it's been out but i'm still so surprised by how many people like on release day managed to read the entire book so it looks like we've got six reviews on Amazon already. Okay, and on Goodreads we have 23 reviews so far. The first thing I saw when I woke up this morning though was someone tagged me on Instagram. They make soaps inspired by books and they made one for the marionettes that like is inspired by the book cover. I don't know how well you can see this. I shared it on my Instagram story. How pretty is that? I don't know if they sell it. If they do, I wanna buy it. That's so cool. It's not even just a coincidence, like they actually said that this was inspired by the book. That's so cool. It's light. It's not great. We got some coffee. He won't leave me alone. Ah, it's now 8.30. I've been dealing with all of the social posts and stuff, so I posted on Instagram, TikTok, posted the YouTube video for today. I still need to send out my newsletter, but good start at least. I don't know how I'm gonna get any work done today. I'm so freaking distracted. <laughs> I was distracted yesterday too. I'm having a hard time. You can sit there, it's okay. That's a good spot. That's a good spot. 
He can't sit still if you're petting him. <laughs> Maybe I'll go work out. Maybe that'll help me focus so then we can get some client work done this morning and then I can get ready for my day. I am working on two manuscript evaluations right now. Oh, and I have a ton of emails I need to take care of. I've been rescheduling clients and booking new clients and trying to fit them all into my schedule. I'm booking into February of next year right now. So uh, we're gonna do emails first always comes in waves i'll go like a long period where i won't have anyone email me trying to get on my calendar i've been fully booked for the year for a couple of months now but now all of a sudden i've gotten like five people all interested in this same time slot so it's a mess now one in the afternoon <laughs> i did a workout we did a push day we did chest triceps a little bit of shoulders it was fantastic I took a shower my hair is still wet i'm not going out with my friends until tonight so i'll get ready closer to then and i haven't done any work other than release day stuff i've been responding to comments all that kind of stuff um i've kind of just accepted i'm not gonna be able to focus today and if i'm allowed to take any day off i feel like i deserve to take a release day off so we're gonna work on client stuff tomorrow it's fine <laughs> what i'm really in the mood to do is work on wicked souls the sequel to the marionettes because i'm just like thinking about this series and that's like something I feel like I can do in this like distracted headspace. So I think we're just gonna work on that book for this afternoon. I'm excited. I got a phone call. My refrigerator is getting delivered tomorrow. Have I showed you this setup I've been dealing with? So my refrigerator and freezer broke over a week ago. So all of my food went bad. It's still in here, obviously. <laughs> so I have this ice maker here and I have this cooler that I've been living out of for over a week with what little food I've been willing to keep on hand. At first I was just like doing Uber Eats and stuff and then the longer it was taking for the fridge to get delivered, the more expensive it was getting. So that's our solution for now. We've got two sleepy kitties. So I'm gonna have a refrigerator again at seven o'clock tomorrow morning. It was so hard. I, it's kind of a weird uh, size over there. So I needed a kind of small one and all of the places around me were like saving up for Labor Day sales. So everything was back ordered, nothing was in the store that I could take, like it was so hard to find a fridge. I didn't even want this particular fridge exactly. It was the only one that I could get delivered before October. It was insane. I wouldn't wish a broken refrigerator on anyone. We're gonna work on Wicked Souls at some point, get ready for tonight. That's about it. That's all that's happening today. What was on my to-do list? I don't even know. I haven't sent my newsletter. What am I doing? Okay. There we go. Thankfully, I had already written the email. I just forgot to send it this morning. <laughs> He's back. Oh my god, look at the ranking. We're in the top 10,000 of the Kindle store. Things took an unfortunate turn today. I ended up getting a migraine in the middle of the day. So I've just been laying in bed for the last five hours. I canceled with my friends tonight. I door dashed Red Robin for dinner. We're going to go out tomorrow instead. So it's fine. Not really ideal to spend my book release day laying in the dark in pain, but it's fine. <laughs> I feel a little bit better now. It's about 7.15. Yeah, I'm gonna take it easy for the rest of the night. I didn't get like anything done, obviously, because I ended up laying in bed all day. So we're just gonna go put on a movie or something and just hang out on the couch for the rest of the night. So I'm actually gonna continue this vlog tomorrow and hopefully actually have some decent content for you. If you're curious about my dinner, I got a veggie burger. Or wait, let me show you the book one more time. Look at that ranking. She's moving up in the world. So it's the next day. This vlog has not gone as planned at all, but it's okay. So we're gonna wrap it up and we're just gonna chat while I do my hair for tonight. Oh, someone asked me in a comment somewhere about the pre-orders for Wicked Souls. The ebook was up and they were asking when the paperback was gonna be up. I submitted all the info for that today, so I'm just waiting for it to go live. Honestly, by the time this video goes up, you'll probably be able to pre-order the paperback now. Anything else to tell you? I've said it a million times this week, but thank you guys so much for being a part of this release. Thank you to the crazy amount of people that have already read and reviewed the book. The book jumped up to like 40 reviews by the end of yesterday. And I honestly didn't send out very many arcs of this book at all, like less than 15. And not even like as a strategic thing, it was literally just, I had so many things going on that I low key just didn't get to it, just kind of forgot about it. So I sent some to my Patreon people, I sent like a handful to regular reviewers, and that's about it. I am pretty bad about being so like laser focused that I don't really appreciate my accomplishments enough. It's like once I finish something immediately, I'm like, okay, on to the next thing, <laughs> like what's next? So I'm trying to just, you know, sit here with it and be happy that this release went so well. I go out with my friends, I get drunk, and I'm gonna worry about all of the other things I have to do. 
some other time. I have a few more videos to go up this week. I don't know what order they're going up in, so maybe this one's the last one actually. I don't know. I'll have another video going up though like a week from now to do a check-in on how the release went because I did that for the last release and I liked doing that. So I'll have like a general one here on my channel and then I do kind of like a deep dive with all of the actual numbers over on Patreon. And then also we'll be doing a live stream spoilery discussion on this book like we did with the anti-relationship year. I haven't I haven't set a date for that yet, but I will let you know. In general, I always send things out in my newsletter. You can subscribe over on my website, and I always post on my Instagram stories. I feel like that's like the number one way that I like notify people of things. So you can do either of those if you want to make sure you don't miss that. I'll let this cool. But I'm assuming that'll be about a week after um, the book release. That's what we did last time. So I expect it kind of around the end of September. So if you want to participate in like a spoilery discussion and like a live stream setting you can ask me questions we can just chat about it um make sure you read the book within the next month or so please for the love of god do not come to that live stream if you hadn't read the book yet if you make me spoil this book of all books for you i'm gonna be so upset there's so many like twists and stuff in this book don't make me spoil it for you please okay and it's good enough. Is there anything else to say before I wrap this video up? I don't know. I'm just like delirious. I'm so tired right now. If you have no interest in this book, get a bit of a break now because I feel like this is pretty much all we've talked about on this channel for months. Although now I'm assuming I'm just going to be talking about Wicked Souls constantly. I am looking forward to I was saying in another one of these release week videos that I wanted to take a break once I finished book two of the series and like move to a different project before jumping into book three just to take a break from this series and I really want to get back to Gracie's book I had to set it aside while I try to finish up Wicked Souls and I'm still thinking about it and I'm missing it and I wish I was working on it but I just don't have time for it right now so I really want to get back to Gracie's book but anyway thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed the release week content for this book obviously I'll have links for all kinds of stuff down below in the description if you do read the book and you enjoy it I would appreciate it so much if you would leave a review on Amazon those help me out so much it doesn't have to be long it doesn't have to be fancy it can be a sentence it can just be a star rating we are I don't know how many we have right now oh did I show you this screenshot of where our ranking was at we were in the top like three or four thousand in the Kindle store which was insane Insane. If any of my other books had been ranked that high, it, they would have been number one in all of their categories, but this book is in like huge categories. I tried so hard to like find relevant small ones and these, this genre is so saturated. It was hard. So it wasn't like super high in the small categories, but the fact that it was like 3000 something in the overall store and stayed there, that was amazing. Okay, so we have 11 reviews on Amazon right now. Here's my deal for you. If we can get that to 25 25 reviews on amazon we will do a cover reveal for wicked souls sound fair deal thanks for watching thanks for hanging out this week thanks for following along for this whole process if you're newer here and you just jumped in i have vlogs literally documenting every single step of this process back to when we first started writing the rough draft so if you're interested in all of that i'll link some choice playlists and videos and stuff down below in the description but other than that i think i'll just see you guys in my next video very very soon bye no.